हेलो मैसेल्फ संजीव राणा एंड आई एम डॉक्टर इन मैथमेटिक्स टुडे वी स्टार्ट ए सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स फॉर एमएससी मैथमेटिक्स एंड टॉपिक इज एडवांस इज अपना so we will cover field theory tonight fields and galileo's theory and its applications so first we will start from the first section that is irreducible polynomials so let's start so this is the definition of irreducible polynomials so let d be a an integral domain and a polynomial f of x from d of x that is ring polynomial that is neither the zero polynomial no a unit in d of x is said to be it using polynomials mean to say that if uh, we express f of x is equal to g of x into h of x then either g of x or h of x is a unit in d of x units ka mean matlab hua yahan pe ki they will be numbers numbers that is that have multiplicative inverse in d so simply if f of x is reducible then it cannot be expressed as the in this form if it express in this form so either this or this it may be number and that that have a multiple means what one more thing if uh, this integral domain d is a field f then in no constant f of x belongs to this ring polynomial uh, f of x to be irreducible if f of x cannot be expressed as a product of two polynomials of lower degree so first of all we just take some of the numbers then we will try we are going to talk about the definitions suppose we take this polynomials that is 2x square plus 4 and it is reducible over q why it is reducible over q you just see f of x can be expressed in this form there is no other way to express in this way uh, other way because we are working on this question numbers so if we take two common so according to this type definition this two is not a unit two is not a unit. sorry two is a unit two is a unit because two has uh, it was one by 2 so if this is your g of x and this is over h of x so this this is unit in q that's why it is irreducible over q another way f of x is irreducible over z why it is irreducible over z because if we write in this way f of x is equal to 
into x square plus four. So this two is not a unit in z because two ka multiplicative inverse hota hai one by two one by two z plus. So ye bhi unit nahi hai aur ye to chalo unit ho hi nahi sakta z. So it means that these two are not units. Na to ye unit hai na to ye unit. It means that it is this f of x is reducible over integer z. I think you have some uh, clarity now. What this mean by reducibility? Another. If we take one more example, same example, two x square plus four, but it is reducible over r. It reducible over r. R is real number, but reducible over c. Why it is happening? Because same same uh, logic is here. So if we write f of x in this way, so Clearly, two is unit in R. So that's why it is irreducible over R. And if uh, f of x can be a little like this form, so clear clearly this polynomial and this polynomial both belongs to C or f of x, uh, C of x that is ring form C. Over C, so you just see the reducibility and irreducibility is depending upon the field from the coefficients we take. Okay, so we we take another examples. So that is polynomial x square minus two. And it is irreducible over Q, but reducible over R. Why it is? Because we we simply write x square minus two in this form over Q. Okay, so clearly one is unit. The same logic is here. So that's why it is x square minus two is irreducible over Q, but over R, we can write like this because this coefficient belongs to R, so under two belongs to real numbers. So that's why these two polynomials belongs to R, and uh, this is not units. This is not units in R. So that's why it is reducible. अगर आपको थोड़ा सा इसमें confusion हो कि units की क्या बात करा units means a simple number, constant, which have Multiplicative inverse over that thing. Okay, now I think you get some more clarity on reducibility, irreducibility. Take one more example. This is a polynomial x k plus one is irreducible over field z three and reducible, but reducible over z four. You see how it is. Irreducible. We know Z three has three elements. This is zero, one, two. And uh, if I put zero in this polynomial, so it is equal to one. And this is two at x is equal to one, and at x is equal to two, it is equal to two over modulo three. So clearly, there is no zero elements. There is no zero element we get after substituting these three values in this polynomial. So it means that there is no zero in Z3. That's why this polynomial is irreducible over Z3. Now come to the Z5. Uh, you see, uh, Z5 has these four elements: zero, one, three, four, and uh, after putting X is equal to two in this polynomial. We get zero, and also by substituting 
x is equal to 3, we get also a 0. So it means that this polynomial x k plus 1 is reducible over z5. And uh, x k plus 1 uh, is uh, can be expressed like this. So x k plus 1 is equal to x plus 2 into x plus 3. So clearly x k plus 1 is reducible over z5. So now we discuss some properties of uh, this f of uh, x that is ring polynomial or filter. So first is the division algorithm holds in this field. So that is very familiar to us. If f is any polynomial, and there exists some non-zero polynomial g of x in this field, that is ring of polynomials. So there exists two number two polynomials u of x and r of x, and after dividing f of x by g of x, we get this type of relation where either r of x is equal to 0 or degree of r of x is less than degree of g of x. And second property is uh, this ring polynomial of f of x is a principal identity. And uh, this is, I assume that you have already known you know, what is principal identity domain in your uh, classes. And uh, second property, uh, third property is f of x is a unique factorized, uh, factorized domain, a factorization domain that is UFD. This is also known to you, I assume that. And one more thing that is units of f of x are non-zero elements of f. So they are non-zero elements of f, which have multiple 